Hi everybody, it is Kim coming at you live at Soul Storm Quilt Shop. This hot, I mean, it is hot. Remember when I used to come on and tell you guys how cold and yucky the weather was? Well, today she's hot uh, here in Alcester, South Dakota. So I'm coming at you live to throw a little fall in your mindset, if you will. I've got two new lines today. I have so much new fabric to show you guys. You wouldn't believe it, but mom was super busy all weekend getting spools ready. So we had more displays and such because we have so much new fabric coming in. May is super, super busy for fabric. So I've got two new lines to show you today. I'm going to be back at you tomorrow showing you Christmas, but today is going to be Halloween. Hello, Sherry. So the first line I'm going to show you is from Banyan Batiks. They are a new batik company to us. We recently got a rep from them back in March. We made, no, I take that back. I think it was back in January. We met with our Moda rep, who actually is a Northcott and a Banyan Batiks rep. And so we have dove into some Northcott and Banyan Batiks. So the ones I'm going to show you today actually are Halloween Batiks. They're really funky. They're really cool and a great price point for a Batik. So I'm going to like, turn the camera around. This is called Midnight Magic. So it's quite a nice variety of different Halloween prints and they're all batiks you guys they're really cool so I'm going to just go through them real quick with you this first print comes in two colorways a black and orange looks very tie-dye-esque and then the one behind it is just all in black that shadow is kind of making a different color but it is a black batik and those colors are just kind of popping out from there absolutely gorgeous these are gonna run at 12 30 a yard moons and stars anyone fun purples with those orange and yellows coming through and of course in the black maybe you have an idea in mind that isn't halloween and that's great because there are some great blenders in here for those harry potter fans maybe you have some dungeons and dragons fans and you're making quilts for these would work with that as well this one is super cool mom really liked this one this is like a checker print and if you look you can see there is the star and a witch's hat so it kind of makes this little fun checkerboard so here it is with the orange and black this is tonal and yes they are a batik and this one is super light. It has a really nice feel to it. It almost is a little bit heavier than a traditional maybe batik. I think it's got more weight to it. So I really like that idea. This next print are jack-o'-lanterns. This is just black and orange. This one brings in that purple vibe. Really cute, a nice size print on these jack-o'-lanterns. And there's also those moons and stars behind them. And what's Halloween without some bats, right? So these ones here have a deep violet background and then oranges and yellows. This one has the same type of background, but a cream bat and stars coming through. Here is a black and cream. And this one's really funky. It's like a cream, almost like a parchment paper kind of color. Blacks and purples popping through it. Really neat. And finally, the spiders. This is a black batik with those fun parchment colors coming through on those spiders. The orange with the black, nice, beautiful swirls and textures there. And then this one has some fun purple. Now, the next line I'm going to show you, mom's holding up the panel. So this is the newest line from Free Spirit. This is called... Halloween storybook. So this is the panel. It's a one yard panel. This is new designer for them, Rachel Hauer. And it is kind of creepy. It's kind of fun. I will tell you, it does not grow in the dark, but how cool would that be? So this fun panel is one yard by the width of fabric. So it does kind of run in the wrong direction. Mom's bummed about that one. Oh, look at you. She's doing magic. And then the second panel, <laughs> wasn't ready for that. <laughs> she scared me. Gotcha. Oh, I gotcha. 
So the second panel um, is two-thirds yards, and you get these really fun Halloween blocks. I'm going to guess they probably measure at a 10-inch block. They all have this fun rick rack around each one. That's going to be a little bit important because it's another one of our prints. Gorgeous Damask, Spooky Cats. I love this guy. I don't know if anybody was a Sabrina the Teenage Witch fan, but this reminds me of that cat. Oh, and that one from Hocus Pocus. Binks, the black cat. Looks like Binks. Okay, so those are our panels. The panel, that one there, that last one, is going to retail. Yeah, that last one. Whoop, there's my post. It's going to retail for $8.20. And the first panel is 1230. So the two third yards is 820. And the rest of the fabric is 1230. This fun little guy is technically their running yardage. I almost need to back up a little bit. Look how big that print is. Like seriously. So it's probably like a six inch, maybe an eight inch strip going to the width of fabric. So you would have to piece it. But the pattern and the print itself is the same one that is in that one yard oh, print. Hand. Yeah, I'm not necessarily a big fan of this rat, but the cat's cute, and you know, you guys know how I feel about birds. So there's the first print. This one I absolutely love. So it is directional as well. Here's my salvage, as you can see. This is the black cat damask, a very big print. Look at him, you guys. I love this damask. This orange eyes popping out with the gray tonal. These bats that are kind of forming the damask around the cat head. Very cute. Again, directional. And the final one that's really big. I have more prints to show you. But this one is also a very large print. And directional. Big cat going through the little pumpkin forest, if you will. The little pumpkin fields. And they all have these little jack lanterns already cut the color that's coming on my phone has a blue tinge to it but this is green more like a turquoise kind of like you know the color of your cutting mats and then the next few prints here also go with this line i will tell you this line has no repeats so everything is a little bit different that last line I showed you, you had different colorways. This line is not. So we have this fun witch's brew, kind of a little homage to the witches. So she's got her little tea pot, her little tea cup, little tea cup on a little spider web coaster. I think this would be super cute to fussy cut out if you're making mug rugs, table runners. It's, it's spooky, but yet very cute. This print is super fun. It is a cheater hexi. So you have all these hexi prints and then all the fun little designs that are within this line. The bats, the moons and stars, of course the kitty cat, little Mr. Binks. I do love this little witch's brew cauldron. The skulls, the skulls on here are very realistic. So if you like that, this is the poison words. I think this would be a really fun print again if you're working on even like a Harry Potter themed quilt just because it has that script kind of looks like you know you made these little potions with these recipes and whatnot. The jack-o-lantern print is adorable less scary than some of the others and this one you guys there's little kitty jack-o-lanterns so you've got all the fun little faces and then a little kitty one popping out with his little whiskers. So I think that one's really adorable. This ghost is a lot of fun. He's very big. He's non-directional. I mean, he kind of goes every direction, but lots of different sizes. It's not white. It is cream. The color that it's coming off on the phone is pretty right on. And potion bottles. Again, those Harry Potter fans, this one would be a good one for as well. A real nice size with these different potions and poisons, if you will. So you could certainly use them again for a table runner, those mug rugs to fussy cut those out. The detail on some of these bottles are just, I mean, they're crazy. Look at that, the detail on that. You can see it all there. It's gorgeous. This is Tombstone. 
As you can see, it is directional, but just a really kind of fun, different print. Very geometric. You can easily use these lines as your cutting lines and use them as a border. Have that fun little, very serious skull there. And here's that Rick Rack. I love the Rick Rack. It was absolutely fun to show mom. She kind of got a little chuckle because we've been talking about Rick Rack off and on for probably the last six months. So here is mom's Rick Rack fabric. Not going to tell you what she thought it would be good for, but you guys can probably guess. And the last two prints are going to be our very spooky bats. So very long directional rows. This little guy, I mean, compared to my hand, he's going to be probably a good four inches long, but probably only like an inch and a half wide. So a nice border if you wanted to use him. You can fussy cut out these moons and stars. And his devilish cousin, the much bigger bat. He's hanging on to these moons, which I guess if I were to... See, I have him standing, but I guess really he's hanging, isn't he? He'd be... He'd be hanging by the moon. They hang upside down. So again, a fun teal color with these moons and stars, but again, another bigger print. So I have on our website a free pattern for this Halloween line. It's called Tricks and Treats, so you can search it that way. You can also find it under the Storybook Halloween panel as well, the One Yard panel. It's a really fun pattern. Very minimal yardage because that panel already takes up like a nice big chunk. You can check both lines out at SoStormQuilting.com. We have Midnight Moon, that is the new batik, and Storybook Halloween that I just showed you from Free Spirit. If you guys ever have any questions, go ahead and drop a comment. Otherwise, I will see you guys again probably tomorrow with winter and Christmas. So... We'll see you tomorrow. Stay cool. Have a good night. It was a long weekend. Sometimes they get to be a little hairy afterwards, right? We'll talk to you soon. Bye.